Good evening. Welcome to the Pico Challenge's latest video blog. This video I just kind of wanted to talk about. I'm sure if you've seen these blogs, you probably know by now we're doing the Whole30. And when I first was doing the Whole30, I was really focusing on food and uh, eating lean meats, fresh vegetables, uh, locally grown stuff, as much as I could. I mean, I travel, so when when I was in Long Island, New York, it was kind of hard to find anything locally grown. Not because they don't have it, just because I don't know the area, blah, 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 and then there's the time factor. What I wasn't really focusing on was just my emotional response to food. And it's kind of been an interesting journey for me because throughout this process of doing the Halt 30 while traveling, I've had days of success and days of not success. And, um, what I realized as I finished the book, which I completed today, was that I was really relying on food a lot for an emotional response. Um, I, I, like, e even if I wasn't eating a cinnamon roll, I would sit down with my egg white omelet and watch TV with it. I wasn't eating because I was needing to fuel myself. I was eating because I wanted to sit down and watch TV with something in front of me to eat. So the next step of this journey for me, the Whole30, is, is really processing um, and overcoming uh, food as a crutch. Yeah, I, I would say that we have crutches in all of our culture. We rely, we rely on everything. I, <coughs> my uh, pastor at church today gave the example in spirituality of being a... Uh, microwave culture where everything is self-gratifying and instant, including our food, including Big Macs, including even even what we would consider healthy like um, uh, strawberries or watermelon. If, if I'm using food as a crutch, then I'm not accomplishing one of the major points of the Whole30 or the diet in general, and that's to get to a place where I'm eating for health reasons instead of for emotional reasons. So that's the journey we're on. Uh, I would say Stephania is probably somewhere in the same journey. Um, so here we go as we press on.